And is this around the time that you ran into the uh, Delta Force guys? Yeah. <laughs> this is a wild story. That was, this uh, might be the most dangerous car you've ever yeah. looked inside <laughs> yeah. of in history. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I mean, we're, again, I mean, which is, I know later on too, that's like your worst enemy, right? The, like the soldier on the street, because yeah. they're all jacked up, ready to shoot at anything, right? So in my position there, I mean, we're all jacked up, ready to shoot at anybody coming through. We were getting a mission. Nobody gets through, right? Nobody, nobody, nobody. Well, Roger that. <laughs> you know, Deal. Off we go, right? That's pretty easy. Yeah. yeah. Um, and we shut down the street. And um, th that night, there's, there's some things going on that night before that. Um, they, they keep us engaged with gunfire and aggressive people and people trying to get walk on the street when they're not supposed to walk on the street and guys with guns and uh, barricades and uh, there's a bunch of stuff going on. So... Um, this, uh, the, and also, we can hear down the street from us. So we're told in this one this one uh, intersection that I'm at, I get plussed up with another gun team and uh, some other guys uh, from the uh, company, the platoon I was in, so, so, so we can have mo more guns at this intersection because the Battalion 2000, which was Noriega's army at the time, was had left, the, left during the invasion, the actual, you know, fighting going on, and then now they're regrouping and coming back in the city. That road we were on was one of the roads they were using. So um, that's what they tell me. I was like, so so, so where's everybody else? It's just, it's just <laughs> me and my 10, 12 guys, whatever it was. Um, we're we're going to stop this army. Um, oh, it was just you guys assigned to that street. Yeah. Well, this so in the perimeter... This part of the perimeter, we're 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 securing this whole neighborhood, right? So the other guys are are scat or in other positions, securing this one neighborhood. Um, I just happen to be on the side where they're they're making the the main thrust coming back in Panama City. Whoa! To retake the city, yeah, is what I was told. I was like, all right, cool, man. Let's lock it down. <laughs> yeah, you know, be careful what you ask for because you might just get it, right? Yeah. And I was like, okay. We're ready. We'll do what we can, you know, for whoever's coming down that road. And so that night we're putting up, we're relocating the, the fencing and the, the, what they have for fencing over there is just cylindrical blocks. And then they stack them. There's no mortar or anything. They just stack them. And that's how they, they make their walls and privacy fences. Um, so we relocated all that stuff, put it on the street and made, uh, you know, rudimentary speed bumps and and barricades and a little bit of concertina wire we had. Um, and we're just moving things onto the street to make some sort of blockage and controlled access. And then we'll just put guns on it and overwatch it with guns. Um, so we did that. And uh, as the sun's coming up, so that night we hear down the road. So uh, the... Um, uh, Oh, what's the official term for that one? The um, the Spectre gunship. That's a C-130 with guns and more uh, howitzers and all kinds of shit on it, right? We can hear that down the road. And I can, we can actually see the plane. So we're talking jungle. Um, you can't see out and, you know, around you that way. But you can see, I, we can see the actual aircraft. And it was shooting, right, at this, whatever it was down the road. So that was the same area that we were told the battalion 2000s coming back into the neighborhood, right? Or into the city. So we're thinking, yeah, take care as much as you can, yeah. right? Because it's only us. Yeah, it's coming to us 12 guys or whatever. I don't know if anybody else knows that, but it's only us. Two machine guns and, you know, AT4s. It's an infantry squad we're getting ready to wreak havoc on whoever's coming down that road, right? And uh, so that most of that night we heard that going on. Um, and, um, and I'm guessing the guys that we ended up stopping at the checkpoint were the ones who were controlling that, that call for fire mission on those guys. Cause what, so sun, as the sun's rising, um, cars are starting to get, so the, the, what they know, the Panamanians know as the, um, the curfew is getting ready to lift during daylight hours. They're starting to get on the roads and drive to wherever it is they're driving. Right. Um, and so we're stopping cars on the street and we're like, yep, yeah, nope, can't go through here. But I'm, I'm okay with that because they're clogging up the road. It's like, yep. Yeah. 
More barricade. Traffic's fine with me right now. I don't give a shit about you getting anywhere, but you're good right where you are. Park, and then, <laughs> so there's a parking lot on this street. And um, the, the unit guys come down the road. And so they're in a panel van. And my guys on the street are are stopping every car and, you know, going, going to guns. Hey, where are you going? Who are you? Where are you going? What's your purpose in life? And, okay, you put your car in park. You're not going anywhere else, right? So this van comes down the road and um, that... <laughs> Uh, whatever conversation happens in that van with my guy on the street, um, Smitty is the guy who's handling this situation. And he's one of my more, uh, well, you know, experiences. When, I'm going to say my more experienced guys. And one, one of the guys I trusted like a lot with a lot of stuff. Like he wasn't, he wasn't, and he said later on, he was a lot more nervous than he, he let on. But um, he's like, yeah, yeah. Uh, there's it gets on the radio and he calls me on the radio and says, Hey, there's this van over here, uh, appear to be army guys, but I don't recognize the uniforms and they need to get to the uh, papal nuncia. Says something to that effect on the radio. I was like, All right, uh, how, what, how do they dress? Whether and I'm gonna look now, I'm looking down the road at where he's talking about. I see the van and he's like, Um, he's like, Yeah, there, he showed. So the other thing, too, um, uh, some of the bad guy Panamanians were had ID cards, or and they were like, "Hey, I'm official, I'm ID card holder," uh, like uh, U.S. Army stuff too, or not Army, but just the regular uh, military ID. Um, so that was happening, and we just heard about it. Oh wow! We hadn't heard, we hadn't had any experience with that. It's like so, like a forged IDs kind of thing, mm -hmm. and uh, so this guy in the van up front. Uh, Mexican, Hispanic looking or whatever. Cause the, so the two guys up front are Spanish speakers and they, so they can get around town, talk to checkpoints, stuff like that. And they looked the part, they're not in uniform. And I, the, the passenger up front had presented a, um, uh, an ID card into Smitty. And Smitty's like, yeah, he, I remember the Intel stuff they gave us and this could be fake. I don't know. Mm hmm how am I supposed to know? So he didn't want to make the decision. So he calls me and um, I'm like, yeah, well, okay, Roger that. I don't want to belabor the point here and start arguing over the radio. I'll be there in a minute, get everything stable on the perimeter. And I go running down there to Smitty. And I was, I, as I'm approaching, I'm like, okay, <laughs> these dudes are shady as fuck. <laughs> they're, they're, I, they could be part of the group that was evacuated or escaping from what just happened earlier that night. We heard all the gunfire. We don't know what's going on. So that's the environment that we're in, right? We don't, it's like, you could be saying you're anybody, but just to get through our, our blocking position. And um, so I had, you know, some doubts on who they were. Also, they were speaking perfect English too, but we had been working with Panamanians all summer. They have great English. Yep. <laughs> and then we get this little tidbit of information on Intel that there's, uh, the bad guys are using, uh, uh, military IDs to get yeah. past uh, uh, guard uh, blocking positions and and <sighs> positions and, and getting around town. Um, so I was like, well, I said, what do you got in the back? And he's like, well, I got some guys in the back. We got to get to the Papal Nuncia. Um, it was either that or that other building they started at first. But he, he says, I got to get there and we got to get there now. It's like, all right, hold, hold, hold on. I, I'm going to just, you know, I'm going to have to look. I got to see what's in the back just to be sure, because this is the last line of defense, right? Between us and everybody else in the city. Are you scared when you're opening, going around the back of oh, this yeah. van? Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. it's either best case scenario is that it's good guys with guns, yeah. and worst case scenario is it's bad guys with guns. I'm going to be face to face with another gun. Yeah. Um, or, yeah. Um, Ends up, I was face to face with another gun, but it was a good guy with a gun. So, we, we, so this whole clearing team, uh, the clearing, uh, me and Smitty, we're going to clear the back of this van. And I said, I just need to look in the back to the guy up front. He's like, okay, well, I have guys and guns, and we got to get there, and we're with the army, and that, and that was kind of the gist of what he had explained. I was like, hey, well, I, I got to look. Just so, I, so I'll be 
feel better about myself if I let you guys go, if I see what's in the back. <laughs> and uh, so Smitty's going to get the door, fling open the slider. It's a panel van, so it's a sliding door. And I'm going to go clear the back of this van. And uh, so, you know, it's on three, right? Like, one to three. <laughs> Smitty opens the door. And I'm getting ready to clear, and I see the guys standing right there, camouflage uniforms. I mean, army all the way, our mil, our American all the way, right? A BDU uniform, so the battle dress uniform, camouflage uniform, everybody's wearing at the time. And I see uh, 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 U.S. flags on some of the guys, uh, shoulder patch, uh, on a shoulder, uh, chest uh, flag, uh, but also guns, right? And I was like, ugh. I don't know who you guys are, but I see the American flags. <laughs> Just made me shut the door. <laughs> I was like, holy shit. Because they're sitting in, you know, they also don't know. Like, so I've been in that position too now uh, or later on. But uh, it's like what happens in those vehicles, right? It's like, hey, hey, we got a checkpoint coming up. Get ready, right, for anything. And unfortunately, too, it could be... Um, us Americans who just get trigger happy and shoot up a vehicle, which we did yeah. <laughs> like two nights before when we got there, right? Yeah. To this other clown that was driving down the road. So everyone's tense. Yeah.